any outdated, racist, sexist, homophobic, 1950s view of a nuclear family. If you had have asked me, if those people who are us, they are us one generation ago, or two generations ago, or three, or five, or six, or they're experiencing the same level of dispossession of Aboriginal Australians. If you had have asked me if they were going to be murdered in concentration camps offshore with a government who are silent on the issue, who obfuscate and hide facts, who are not transparent before the press, who are not transparent from the people, I wouldn't have believed that would happen in Australia. But that is the Australia that we are living in and that is why we are out today! This whole system is based on lies, as we all know. The legal fiction, terra nullis. Extreme forms of racism, terrorism. Policies of genocide. Our people lived for generations, out of sight, out of mind, in detention centres in this country, euphemistically called mission stations and reserves none other than concentration camps. They were the people who survived the Holocaust, the smallpox, and the shooting out of the beautiful black race that existed here prior to this. And when you do find out the truth, you're going to rise up. And you're not just a regime change here, a proper revolution. Hands off Medicare, Tony Abbott, don't you dare! Hands off Medicare, Tony Abbott, don't you dare! Do the people here stand for homophobia? Do the people here stand for unlocking our forests? Do the people here stand for coal seam gas fracking? We're here today because this government is attacking public spending, it's attacking workers and students, and we are here to reject that agenda. We reject that our basic rights to health, to education, to having unions, to having asylum, should be eaten into by assholes like Tony Abbott and his fellow members of the Liberal Party. It's time, you know we all must stand together.